Hello and so welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Where we last left off we had went through the aft storage hold, and got to this biometric security scan. Which I was a bit paranoid about, so we ended the part there. And I guess we're about to step through and see what happens. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Not Look like the ghost brought them. Let's see if I can keep it that way. So, you're a hacker. There's a maintenance tunnel in loading bay one. Access through a floor panel. Get inside. Follow the cables and try not to kill the person inside. Access granted. Okay, so they give the hacker gave us access. What did he say? He wants us to enter a maintenance bay. Yeah, we're entering a bell tower base. I think that's Rifleman Bank Station. A floor panel in loading bay one. So we gain some more experience. We gain an extra praxis there. Yeah, we got our hacking to level five in the previous video at the end. I would like to get some more stealth once again, but Trying to think of what else we should really invest in. There's a lot I would like to have. Once again. <laughs> There's a lot that I would like to have back. Let's just say that. Um, I think we'll upgrade our radar once again. Because that's just handy to have. Okay. This isn't ominous at all. Oh, oh no, I can't turn that. Okay. I thought I could turn that and open the... Ah, cargo ramp. Okay. So this is totally off the grid. Oh, there's a robot over there. Checking over here. Look like this might have been a way into the facility.
but maybe not. Get behind the camera again. Couple of crates here. What could I use them for? Let's have a look around. There's someone on an upper level with another camera. Are we slated to check out the administration wing? Negative. We don't have access via this dock anyway. Top security clearance only. You need to take a leak, you'll have to take the long way around. Oh, you're a goddamn riot. That sounds like another Dock 3 security protocol. I bet no special op assholes have clearance, right? Don't know. Most of them probably don't need to use the washroom like we do anyway. All they need is the occasional oil change. <laughs> I guess spending all that time in the Australian dust hopefully gums up their gears. Wow. Okay. We need to go into loading bay 1 to find a rendezvous point, but wow, there's a lot here. I mean... Oh, well, there's Burke's office. Nice of it to be point, but like, pointed out. Is there any easy way to get over to... We get onto the roof, maybe. I think there's a ladder. Don't do that. God damn it. Are the box guards heading out with the next shipment? I don't know. I haven't seen the requisition. I don't even know where they're making the work next. If it's the OZ, it'll be loaded with the boxes, I guess. And the weapon parts. Kills me how they ship some of them disassembled like that. Makes it harder to smuggle. There's a camera there that I don't think we can get past. Not ideally, anyway.
Okay. Being very slow, very taking our time. Taking this very easy. God damn it. Access granted. Okay. That's the cameras disabled at least. Cargo quotation mark transfer. Any word yet when they're going to open the loading bay? Shift's almost over and I don't want to be there when they decide to unload. Just got a word from Debt Central. They've got a bunch of parts heading out. Docking request. All personnel must report for a bi-monthly biometric security clearance scan. Gabriel Hammond, Operation Security. Religious services. Regular non-dominational... Domi-national services? Lower self side druidic sci fi ontology tormentalist. Huh, you know what? I very ri wait, what pick up basketball, some light sparring, or impromptu jam sessions. Yeah, I very rarely see games mentioning obviously like religious services. It's a nice little touch. There's all the box guards they were talking about. I mean, we can get the loading bay one from there. Oh, that's so there's a ladder. A ladder up to the. Right. It's not actually a ladder up to there. Can I get up here, though? Can I get up there? I imagine there would be a way. Hopefully away without being caught. This is going to be very stupid. I may end up quick loading. But... I'm just... Trying different things. Hello, ladders. don't have any ammunition but can use its scope at least ah I thought there might be a vent so somewhere there's a floor vent Looks like it's in the back corner there. Any word on when that shipment of mobile turrets is going on to the OD theater? They've been out there gathering dust for a while now. No word yet. Have you seen them in the field though? Very impressive. Still takes two or three guys to move them. A mobile is mobile. Ah, I saw some footage. They seem easy enough to deploy. Jeez. Box guards, mobile turrets. Pretty soon they won't need us at all. They'll always need someone to go out and die for a cause. If only to rile up the civvies. Well, that's depressing. Oh, 
don't have any space for any more tranquilizer darts. Come on. We need tranquilizer darts. So what can I sacrifice? Um, probably a concussion grenade or two. So we've got one guy there on the upper level. Oh, hello. Is there anyone else on that walkway? Security credentials must be carried at all times. Don't you think so. To produce said credentials by security personnel. Please comply. I heard that. Time to unload! Got to hit the alarm. Did you just... Be advised. Where is he? New personnel should report to Security Central for biometric scan. What? Oh crap. I can't even... Can't even see anything with this red tint over my vision. So there's people in that room. Okay. Smart vision would have probably told me that. Civilian contractors must stay within designated areas. Entering restricted areas will result in termination oh, bloody hell. and prosecution. Uh, if that's the case, drop and drop. There's no quiet. New personnel should report to Security Central for biometric scan. So we need to probably get this guy first. Or maybe only this guy. Unless we want to disable everything in this loading bay as well. As far as oh, there's a guy. Didn't actually see him patrolling. Okay, that's as far as you go. Cargo crew to sector alpha. Cargo crew to alpha. Um, I don't know where's an ideal place to drag your body. Oh, hello. 
quick reminder that the code for access to the administration quarters through Loading Bay 1 have been changed as per protocols. Gabriel Hammond once again. Oh, turret. Uh, great. That turret's probably got a camera connected to it, so I need to get into this office. Which means I need you. I was hoping the gas grenade would take them both out before any alarm was raised, but I guess everyone else saw it. If we had the reflex booster, we could take them both out together. God damn it. Well, it could have went better. Be advised, new personnel should report to Security Central for biometric scan. Shotguns, no frack grenade. Huh? God! Really? I thought you were coming downstairs. You know what? Screw the turret. Let's just try and avoid it. Oh, for really? Ugh, fine. You can Security credentials must be carried at all times. You may be asked to produce said credentials by security personnel. Please comply. I hate my life. <laughs> Oh, for cry! Are you? I shouldn't have quick save when I was in the room. I should have decided not. Can I? God damn it! Yeah, we have no choice but to accept our mistake. <clears throat> Don't shoot. Cargo crew to sector alpha. Cargo crew to alpha. Uh. 
Okay. I know you're here. I know you're here as well. Disable the alarm at least. Be advised, new personnel should report to Security Central for biometric scan. Check all these again. Right. After that debacle. <laughs> All grounding orders have been rescinded. New flight schedules will be distributed as soon as possible. That's far enough, Jensen. You? You were behind this? I said, that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. Why don't you put the gun down? Then maybe we can talk. You think I'm stupid? You've got every reason in the world to hate me, and I've heard what you do to your enemies. Tell me, did you enjoy putting so many BT contractors into comas? You're the one who let me off the leash. It wasn't my choice. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to get us both killed before this is over. But if we'd left you in that brig, who'd be around to save your Dr. Reed? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Bell Tower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen, Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters set down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretchers coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. Why me, Keitner? That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this black project. I wish I could. 
but it's been classified. So classified, every BT suit I've talked to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only, Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs. Harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp, and they just disappear. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the? Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector, why not others? Because you're a fugitive, Jensen. The less room I give you to maneuver in, the more likely it is you'll stay one. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? The guards in the prison complex, are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burke's. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I've noticed that. that in mind. I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. Uh, what can we call? I do think she's an alpha type personality. I did think we had a full bar, so... Let's see if she knows anything else. Well, we'll see if this works first of all. I want to help, Keitner. But you're asking me to take a lot of things on faith here. It might be easier if you can show me some hard proof. Burke's got an office in the command center. It'll be locked, but 6325 will get you in. And then? There might be some files on his computer. If he hasn't changed it, his login is pburke, spelt with an E. And his password is theogeny313. Wow. That's one hell of an access code. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security port. Oh, and one more thing. There's a mechanic on the base named Quinn, a civilian contractor with a sideline in procurement. He's discreet and I trust him. So if you need extra firepower, seek him out. He's near the elevator in the lower level maintenance area. Just be careful and try not to draw too much attention. Bit too late for that, really. Well, this would have been handy to get to earlier. Anything else you can tell me? What? What do you need, Jensen? Because this is going to take some time. Uh... Nah, that's fine. That's all I need to know. Great. Then get out of here. And contact me when you're in the prison. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Um, uh, Missions mechanic named Quinn may be able to help. He's at the lower level maintenance area near an elevator. I need to investigate the detention camp to see where all these innocent civilians are going. To gain access there, I'm guessing it's, yeah, the security checkpoint. That makes sense. We can also get into Burke's office to see what he knows, or what his computer may have. Okay, we haven't been in loading bay 3, there might be something of interest there. 
We could probably have gotten there through the upper level. We might be able to get back up to the roof of Loading Bay 1 and back across. I don't know. We might want to stock up on equipment first of all, see what this Quinn has available. I think I'll end this video here though. Uh, take a moment, take a breath. We've been caught a few times and I've got myself a little bit frustrated. We need to slow down once again. <sighs> How are we doing? We still have one Praxis. We're quite close to getting another one. I would like all that Praxis back and then available to us, but if wishes were fishes. Anyhow, yep, hope you've all enjoyed. Feel free to comment if you so wish, and I'll see you for more next time. Until then, bye-bye now.